My intention here is to uh, to hold space for you for what you just shared yeah. and see if we can uh, identify strategies or I can I can uh, show you or direct you or help you find answers on how to uh, yeah how to upgrade all that identify all that and uh, of course right now we are being filmed right so it's not as you know as life and maybe authentic as it would be if we were not being filmed because there is lots of lots of things that can come to the surface yeah. but we will do our, our best to navigate it yeah so um, I w I'm just going to try to summarize what you just said right mm -hmm. um, w the core of what you're experiencing is a dissonance with the feminine yeah right there is something there where you have to think that you could be connecting deeper mm -hmm. and you're not fully connecting deeper and the reason why it's because there are fears or vulnerabilities mistrust mm -hmm. right so these fears vulnerabilities and mistrust they are shadows mm -hmm. right in your field do you own those shadows do you tr do you choose to mistrust or is it something that just happens through you no i'm choosing it I you're think. choosing it well yeah at a subconscious level yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you had the choice between trusting and mistrusting, which one do we? I would choose you? trust. You choose trust, yeah. right? Okay. So what this means is that if you look at uh, at the charts that we have over here, the the mistrust and insecurity are immature aspects of your yeah. m light masculine. Mm -hmm. It means that there is a, a part of you, like the, your inner child, you go back to childhood, you yeah. talk about your relationship with your mom. It means that there is an aspect of your light masculine that is in shadow that is in the shadow. Shadow doesn't mean that you don't see it, you can see it, but it means that it's uncomfortable. It mm. means that it's something that is not solved or not completed. And the idea is to go from taking that immature aspect and making it mature or releasing it or transforming or transmuting it into something, something different and starting to practice precisely the, the evolutionary pathways on how to do that. So when uh, we approach it as a therapeutic process, we would be here talking about it, we move a little bit of energy and so on. When we approach it as a mystical thing, mm. instead of you trying to solve it by yourself and say, well, I have to go do some therapy and I have to do, I have to do the work, right? This is what you're saying. What if uh, something can do the work for you? <laughs> <laughs> what if you can be like, you know what, fuck it. I have no idea how to solve that, please help me. Yeah. All right? So this is why you're in a temple, right? <laughs> you're not, you're not in a, I mean, it's therapeutic as well, but you're not in a therapy room. Yeah. You're in a temple. You came to a tantric temple. And by saying those things, you're asking help to the tantric field. Yeah. You're saying, please help me, right? Would you like to receive help with that? Yeah. Exactly, right? So what, uh, what we would usually do is start by, by shaking, shaking the body. And of course, we have the mics and everything, so we're going <laughs> to... First thing is to embody, to really feel what's there. Mm. Yeah, tightness in my chest. Ah, 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 you can raise your arms to the sky, keep on shaking. Ah, in the core of your being, creating space. Right now you're just creating space and giving space to emotions to be expressed. Emotions that might be a little suppressed. Just keep on going, I'm going to get something. Yeah, 
beautiful. And breathe in, arms to the sky. And breathe out, you bring your hands down in prayer pose. And again. Ah. Yeah, and again. Ah. Yeah. So right now we are moving relatively fast. We, mm -hmm. If we were doing that in a session, then we would spend probably half an hour, a little bit longer. But you can feel all the full dimension of your yeah. emotions. So I'm just going to show you a very simple way of looking at it. It's like when you are in your light masculine, you are over here. Imagine that this is an image of you. You have over here, you have shadows, and you have the immature aspects. Over here, you have the mature aspects, mm -hmm. right? And you have in the light vibration and the dark vi vibration, both of them are completely sacred. Mm -hmm. uh, they are just qualities. They don't have a connotation. Like, for instance, in the Western world, if you say you are a master of darkness, people go like, you're satanic, you, you are worshipping the demon, which is, which is not at all like that. In my experience, light and darkness are just two polarities of life, and the goal is to harmonize them inside mm -hmm. of us. We are not in the Star Wars movie. Yeah. <laughs> we are in, the, in a very different script, which says that the goal is for those two qualities to, to make love to each other. And it's something that is difficult to say in a, in a church or difficult to bring into the Western world. But in the Eastern world, for instance, with the qualities of when you look at Kali, the goddess Kali, which is being worshipped, uh, you know, look at these representations. Yeah. And she looks really scary, and she's drinking blood. And you know, so that would be typically in a, <laughs> in the West, that would be the image of a demon, right? And so, why are we worshiping a demon? We are not worshiping a demon. We are worshiping uh, an energy that has the power to go into the deepest shadows and be master of those shadows. This is she's a master of those energies. This is what we are saying. And so when uh, you are in your light masculine over here and you are experiencing a sense of insecurity or a sense of mistrust, all that, and to protect yourself, you have to keep keep the woman away after a while, yep. right? To protect your own emotional, energetic integrity because otherwise you lose yourself. The reason why you lose yourself is because the darkness is not integrated. Mm. Okay, very simple. So you can stay within that field and try to move furniture around and yes. say, oh, I'm going to try to, I'm going, I'm going to try to trust more. But you say, but if the foundation is not established, it's a bit like if I say, well, lift this weight. And you go like, it's 50 kilos and it's really hard for you to lift it. I s I can, you can psych yourself up to change your perception of the weight or you can just build up more muscle, yep. right? So this is what the, the, the strategy in here when, uh, when I would say, how can you find a deep ground in relationships? It is to activate your dark masculine, to activate your dark masculine power. Mm. Why? Because the moment you have this foundation and you enter into a relationship with a woman, you don't lose yourself. Mm. What happens is that in the early stages of the relationship, you have the romantic period, right? You are in the feminine, masculine, light vibration over here. Mm. And, uh, and then when you start building up roots, and if those roots go into the darkness precisely, you are going to go to rock bottom mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to build a foundation. And as you are going down, down into this rooting, then a part of you, st you start feeling anxious. You start mm -hmm. feeling, oh my God, something is happening. The reason why is because you're not comfortable with this field. Yep. It's like if you, if you are with a woman and you are in your full power, you say, sure, I want to build up a deeper relationship with you. We are a good match. There is no deal breaker here. I'm not going to invent reasons to break up with you. Yeah. We are really a good match and I'm ready to, to dive deeper with you. And I cannot do that if I don't have a vehicle to navigate this. So the moment naturally there is a growth process that takes you there, then, uh, then a part of you gets a little bit scared of it. It's a little bit like if uh, you have been surfing really nice waves and then there is storm waves, you know, bigger waves, you go like, uh, I don't think I'm ready for that one because it requires much more power and skill, yep. right? So what gives you those skills is precisely being able to cultivate the darkness. And um, this is why, you know, probably for 80% of men on this planet, having a deeper, dark, mature foundation is one of the core skills mm. that I have the feeling we have to develop as human race. Mm. The tendency right now when we look into uh, uh, into the Western world is that male kind is being uh, emasculated, emasculated, right? Yep. That's the word. Um, and we get very feminized in our approaches and women are holding more and more power and men are becoming a little bit more. And it's not all like that, 
but there is a little bit of this tendency, right? It's like there's more, there is less testosterone, there is less warrior, and we become a bit weaker as as men. And uh, so there is something to go and reconquer. It's reconquer your world, masculine your world, warrior. And so you can do that precisely, build up muscles, build up uh, businesses, build up these kind of things, but you can also build it up through a mystical connection with an aspect of yourself mm -hmm. that is not activated. So when we look into the, the Kali, those are like dark feminine. Uh, but then when we look at those archetypes over here of, uh, for instance, this one, right? You see the, the, the power of, uh, of Shiva over here. There is a lot of warrior energy over here, right? Mm -hmm. So there is an aspect of, of uh, divinities which are very much precisely mystical and dark and warriors and wild, right? This is not just for the Indian deities, but for instance, you go into the Egyptian ones and uh, they're all like powerful uh, entities as well. Then you, when you go into the Greek ones, and you go into the angelic forces or the magicians, you know, it's like a lot of, of warriors. Many, <laughs> when you look at the uh, uh, Vikings uh, series, yeah. right? They're all like, oh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And uh, what about Game of Thrones? It's all, uh, winter is coming, yeah. right? There is always these deep voices and these warriors. Why? Because that's uh, one of the archetypes that really yeah. fascinate. Us, right. Yeah, that seems to have been greatly diluted in modern culture. The exactly. fact that it's having to be ho so heavily depicted in media exactly. rather than embodied in reality. Exactly. Yeah. So when you don't have the, the, the darkness embodied in your system, anchor, then you bypass with other things. You are going to put other forms of protection. You are going to be more mental in the way you communicate. You are going to avoid the feelings. You are going to precisely step out or be more avoiding the moment it becomes too intimate mm. because uh, it's almost like you're, you lose your uh, energetic integrity in the process of doing that. Mm. And so if you have a woman who comes into your field and starts being, for instance, intense or wild, and then your, your inner child is like freaking out because you don't have the, the, the vehicle fully, fully grown. Mm. So you're doing great, you know, you have a foundation inside of you which is already really well established. But that's exactly the shift that happened last time when you were here. Yep. You were like, I'm a victim, and then you were, no, I'm done with the narrative I'm going to create, I'm going to be a warrior, I'm going to engage. And so that's something that you, that you cultivate yeah. uh, and, uh, and activate. So I want to show you a practice very simple, which is a mystical practice, yeah. precisely. Um, let me get something from the garden. Oh, we can go to that space. Sure. Come, come down there. That's that it. thing is fucking awesome. <laughs> We're activating the power <laughs> of the dark masculine. So, dude, it's not one. It's not every day you get to hold one of these. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is the the power of the Trishua. Is the power of change, transformation, and destruction. It's one of the core powers that I use when diving deeper into the the dark masculine energy. Mm. So you can come over here and, and face me, and. Um, we are, we are going to start activating precisely what does a, a dark masculine initiation look like? Mm. You know, a rite of passage into that. Ideally, we would be in the jungle. Right now, we would be in the water. You do some release. We would go deeper into the, the pre-release before. Before yeah. we activate the mantras, first we want to create space. And uh, my guess is that if, if we give you the space to feel the emotions, there is going to be lots of tears and uh, <laughs> things that come to the surface. So we want to, to clear that first. But right now, because we just have a limited time, we're going to dive straight into a demonstration of what it looks like. So when we activate the first the, the full tantric temple, very simple, just with a mantra to, to Shiva. It's Om Namah Shivaya. Mm -hmm. And what this does is like it establishes the first central central pillar in the tantric field. Very simple. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Shivaya. 
so he would be doing this one much longer, of course. Mm. Now look at your posture, right? I want you to embody power, mm. like right now. So you can bend your knees a little bit, and you can bring the, the trishula in front of you, and uh, a bit closer to your body over here. And relax your shoulders. Mm. <sighs> I'm going to breathe a couple of times, really going deep into the sound. <sighs> to activate a little, a little bit more of the sound. Yeah, beautiful. See, right now we're not going to win to your childhood, we're not, we are not trying to understand the source or the cause. Mm -hmm. We know what the sources are, we know more or less what it looks like, we don't have to identify the exact details. We're using that to burn down what needs to be burned down inside of you. Mm. There are aspects of your being that are holding you back that you don't need. Trap memories, core memories, or things like that, that you call like, do I need that? Mm. No, out. So this power, this power of the Trishla is doing exactly that. It's going right as a vitamin pill, exactly where you need it the most. And dissolving aspects of you that are holding you back. This is what you're saying, you know, you enter into the temple, so it'll be like being presented with a guru field, right? And you say, take, take my ego. Mm -hmm. It's not just take my ego, take the aspects of my ego that I no longer need. Mm -hmm. There are certain things, memories from the past, all that, I want to renew myself and refresh myself. So this is a process of fire purification that we're going through right now, right? So now, now that we have the central pillar with Om Namah Shivaya, we're going to activate the specific pillar of the dark masculine. And the dark, dark masculine, the archetype word for the dark masculine is Kala. So you have Kala for the dark masculine, Kali for the dark feminine. When we say Kali, Kala Jaya, we're saying victory to the dark masculine power. You're literally activating that specific frequency so that you can show up as a warrior, as a mystical warrior in life a little bit more. Right? Very simple. Kala Jaya, Kala masculine training. Mm -hmm. Again, we are doing the practice really short, right? This could be way, way longer. The thing that we're going to do next, how are you feeling about, about that? What do you yeah, you something? feel a wave right away. The, um, the power of that mantra, you feel it. It's, uh, it's primal. Exactly. Yeah. So you are in dark masculine training right now. I want to send a message to your parents, wherever they are, it's fine. <laughs> He's not becoming satanic, this is, this is a very natural thing. He's just activating his warrior. It's a little bit like if we was practicing martial arts. It's just a tantric, tantric martial art, right? But you're doing it like that, on an energetic level. So it's safe, nobody's getting... <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, disclaimer. It's fine, he's going to give him the power to, to have deeper relationship with his future wife or partner, or have children and whatever might be in, in your field. So. 
you have the color gyre now. And what we're going to do next is um, activate the, the brotherhood. So when we say kala kula, kula means tribe. So kala kula jaya, we're saying victory to the tribe of dark masculine mm. warriors, right? If you look around the planet, one of the things that is really problematic right now is the rivalry between men. Yeah. Right? It's like, the it's really, yeah, the competition and the rivalry. So we end up being in this space where instead of supporting each other, you have to fight against me and I have to fight against you instead of creating a, a, a unified field where we support each other. It's like, if I'm activating those forces, you benefit from it and we share the benefits of all that. And again, it's not exclusive. This is to all the men. <laughs> I want to include absolutely every man, no matter what your religion is, no matter where you come from, as long as you're not trying to kill me, <laughs> you know, we, we, we include in all that. There is no man in Ubud right now, and I've been here 10 years, that is not welcome to come and do these practices with me. Nobody. It's like it's fully, completely inclusive and it's non-dogmatic. It means that for you to come into this space and anchor this energy, you don't have to say no to something else. You don't have to fully accept what I'm saying. It's like if you resonate, great, you will adopt it. If not, you might find your own truth. It's not stealing you from your own sovereignty. It's not saying from now on you depend on me to activate that energy. This is what happens very often in spiritual schools, right? Mm. It's like you've got the guru mm. and that person has the power to access the divine, but you don't. I'm like, that's not my vision. Right now, we're all masters and teachers, and we all discover our own sovereignty and our own power. You're a king as much as I am. You're a teacher as much as I am. We are equals, right? This, there is no hierarchy here. This is the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. So when we go into Kalakula, we're saying victory to the tribe of dark masculine warriors mm. embodied. So we're going to sing this one a couple of times. Kalakula Jaya Kala kula jaya, 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 kala kula jaya. Beautiful breathing in arms to the sky. And as you breathe out, you bring your hands down in prayer pose. <sighs> Find the perfect balance in your body right here. How much you bend your knees, you can move a little bit side to side. <sighs> yeah, amazing. So now we are creating the brotherhood. What this means is that we are creating a pact of non-aggression between the two of us. I give you tools, I give you powers. This is a weapon, right? I don't want you to turn that weapon against me, mm -hmm. against you. Mm -hmm. We will never use that against each other. We will always mm -hmm. use that for the greater good, right? For something that needs to be changed on this planet or evolve. We are here as agents of transformation for the planet humankind, mm -hmm. right? And wherever you go, you are going to be now accountable to that energy. It means that if you're not behaving in a way that is the masculine power, right? You are not behaving in a way that is uh, mature or there is immaturity coming to the surface. Maybe there is a part of me that will be inside of you. Hey, mm -hmm. hello, mm -hmm. wake up. This is not forceful, but it's like a little reminder that we have a field now that creates a frequency where I want you to remember this moment for your rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I want this to be anchored into your field as something that you can activate anytime you want. You know, like now you're connected to the temple, the tantric temple. That's an initiation. What we are doing right now is an initiation. We're activating something that was not alive before. Right? And so we are invoking these mystical energies coming into the space. Now we have the Kala Kula Jaya, victory to the tribe of dark masculine warriors. I'm going to take that one step further, which is connecting with the heart 
our two hearts so that our hearts are connected and Matt over there is receiving the benefits as well. <laughs> Matt, we have uh, you included in, <laughs> into this. Doing the hard work <laughs> for him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so the, the heart is Anahata, the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. And what we are saying is that this is the core of our connection. This is where we, it's the core of respect and love. Right. Kala kula anahata kala kula jaya 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 kala kula Now we are going to activate the power of change, transformation, destruction, which is the Trishula. So it will be Kala Kula Trishulaya, Kala Kula Jaya, Kala Kula Trishulaya, Kala Kula Jaya, Kala Kula Trishulaya, Kala Kula Jaya, Kala Kula Trishulaya, Kala Kula Jaya. Feel, what do you notice? I feel incredibly centered and anchored through through this uh, Trisha layer, through this line. I can feel the line of energy coming from top through to this. I felt my heart open significantly in the um, in the Brotherhood mantra. It really, really opened then. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's beautiful. So we're gonna do one more. We'll practice with that. It's like we're gonna hold this one together and then come forehead to forehead and we're gonna sing this mantra again. You can bend your knees a little bit like that. Kala kula trishulaya, kala kula jaya, kala kula trishulaya, kala kula jaya. 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 We're gonna raise this one to the sky. Really, in. Oh. and again. Ah, and again. Ah, yeah. Beautiful. Jaya! Jaya! Okay, repeat after me. I love you. I love you. I see you. I see you. I honor you. I honor you. I respect you. I respect you. I support you. I support you. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such an honor. Yeah, Thank you such a that. pleasure. Thank such you. Such a pleasure. Wow, yeah. that was an expedited initiation. <laughs> exactly. exactly. That was amazing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Let's sit down for a moment yeah. and, and explore a little bit yeah. what, what's happened here. <laughs> <laughs>